Hi, it's Patty Hirsch of Marketplace. So to explain this theory of herd immunity, I'd like to introduce you to this herd of 90 pigs. Now, the guy who owns them is very worried about a contagious disease called swine dysentery. So he's decided to vaccinate the whole herd. But he's also really into round numbers, and he'd rather have 100 pigs because it's easier for accounting purposes. So he whisks off to market to buy 10 more. Unfortunately, these 10 pigs have not been vaccinated, and vaccine's very expensive. So rather than spending the money on the vaccine, the farmer decides to effectively inoculate these pigs by using something called herd immunity. What this is means he's spreading them throughout the herd. So if one of them catches the disease, it probably won't spread to the rest of the unvaccinated pigs because they're all kind of spread out and they're unlikely to bump into each other. In other words, if the overwhelming majority of the herd is vaccinated against a disease, it effectively provides immunity to the unvaccinated. Now, rather than talking about pigs and swine dysentery, let's talk about humans and, I don't know, measles. All right, so the Center for Disease Control says that if between 83 and 95 percent of the population is vaccinated against measles, then anybody who is unvaccinated is protected through this concept of herd immunity. However, if more than 17% of the population decides not to be vaccinated, then it means that if somebody does catch measles, it's much more likely to spread through the unvaccinated population, then you've got a real problem. Of course, one of the big issues with this theory of herd immunity is that it assumes that everyone's going to remain scattered through the population. It doesn't allow for what they call clustering. But think about these pigs. I mean, imagine if they become real friends at market, right? And when they go to the herd, they decide they want to get together every now and again. I don't know, maybe go to Disneyland for the afternoon. Well, then herd immunity goes out of the window because suddenly they're all clustered together. And if one of them gets sick, they're all going to get sick. And that's going to leave the farmer here very badly needing a drink.